Hiya and welcome to my channel. This is Mystic Moonbeam Tarot and today's pick a card is on and about who is sending you the evil eye and why. Now in front of you you have three piles. If you need a little bit more time please pause the video and the timestamps I will put them down below. Right, pile one. The elephant. If you can see it's the lights really do. Pile two. The coral reef. And pile three, the red candle. So pile one, the elephant. Pile two, the coral reef. And pile three, the red candle. And we'll get straight to it. Pile one, the elephant. Let's have a look who's giving you the evil eye and why. Right, let's put yours there. Right. First cards off, we have the lover. Anxiety. Blossoming abundance. And we have the tarot cards. Justice. Eight of Wands. Eight of Pentacles, Emperor, and the Death Card. And the cards I've made myself, we have, I pretend to support you, Glasses, Older, Friend, Female, and friends, friend or friends. Right, let's have a look. Pile one. Who is sending you the evil eye and why? First of all, it's either a friend or a group of friends. We have a female present. Um, she could wear glasses, she could be older than you. It's someone that pretends to support you. Definitely a friend, we've got a friend twice. Now for some it could be um, a female boss. Um, this female could be obsessive. And she likes to harm others. Or she, have, she has self-destructive behaviours. I'm also feeling as well that this female, this older female, she suffers a lot of anxiety. Now it could be, like I said, it could be somebody you work with. It could be a female boss for some. For others, it's a female friend and she's older. This female could wear glasses. Now for the friend, I'm getting this female friend. She pretends to support you when really she doesn't. And the reason why this female is sending Paul one the evil eye, it's because of how, you, how hard you work and for what you've got. Now for some it could be um, an older female where you left the job. That's just for some. It's definitely... For one group, it's some, it's a female that you worked with, that you did work with, or you left a job. And that's who's sending you the evil eye. For others, it's a female friend that's older than you. It's somebody who's very obsessive. And they want to do harm to others. They have self-destructive tendencies as well. And they're sending you the evil eye because you, how fast you move with things. It could have been how fast you moved on from a job. You left a job and you went straight into another one for some. Now, regarding the female friend that sends you the evil eye. It's because of how much abundance you've got in your life. 
Again, I'm getting a bit of envy with the female friend. She's trying to, this female is trying to knock you off balance. Trying to stop you in what you're doing. They are, this female is sending negative energy all way. If you've been feeling anxious lately, it's this female that's doing it. But I do feel that this female, she does suffer a lot of anxiety. And she's also sending you the evil eye because you've got a great, great passion for life. You're very devoted in what you do. You're devoted on yourself, you put work into yourself. This female doesn't like it. You show appreciation in the smallest things. You love yourself. And she's not liking this one bit. You put a lot of work into yourself. You put a lot of work into creative projects. Or you put a lot of work into the job you do. You're balanced in your life. You make things happen. Now for some, you could still be in communication with this female, especially if it's a friend. You've put an end to summer, part one of. Or you need to put an end to this friendship. For others, you've left a job because of a female boss. The evil eye's been sent your way because you take control of your life. You balance your life out. You're a fair person. You move forward on what it is you want. And this female's anxious about some kind of ending. She's also said you the evil eye because of how fast you transform. So like I said, it could be how fast you've actually left one job and moved into another. Or if it's regarding friends and that, how you've, how you've ended the connection. You're still in contact with this female, but you don't put that much time and energy into it. And the evil always being sent because of your abundance, because you're blossoming into a different, totally different person. You're transforming. You're making changes in your life. A female is pretending to support you, and she doesn't. Whatever you're doing, whatever you're working on, whether that's yourself or a new job or a new project, there's a female friend around you that is pretending to support you and she doesn't. It's fake. She is fake. Whoever this female is, the fake. Now the signs I'm seeing are Taurus, Scorpio, Libra, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This female could have um, dark hair. For some it could be dark, a long dark hair. Light skin. Um, she could like the colour red as well. But that's who's sending Paul on the evil eye. Jealousy. I know you work on yourself. How fast you move forward. How, how fast you transform yourself. You work really hard. And it's jealousy to do with your abundance. So I hope that helped and we'll move on to part two. Right, part two, the coral reef. Let's move the elephant out the way. Let's have a look what we've got for you. Right, we've got prints. Happy family. Thinking man. And tarot cards we've got. Ten of swords. Four of cups. The tower. Seven of cups and justice. Then we have. I'm supporting you. Twenties. Female family member, and I wish I was like you. So we have a couple of people for part two. Ex's new partner. And looks and what you wear. So there's a bit of jealousy for part two as well. I'm very sorry about the light. Right, part two. 
who is sending you the evil eye and why? Well, the first person I'm getting is a male. Um, then there's a female family member. And there's also an ex's new partner, whether this is female or not. Now, I do feel with the male, I don't feel as if he's sending you the evil eye. I feel like he's, he's keeping an eye on you because he's got some kind of romantic feelings towards you. Um, I feel as if this male has already got a family. This male's romantic, charming. He just think about you. So this male is not sending you the evil eye. He's just keeping a close eye on you. He's thinking about you a lot. He could be fantasising about you. He could want a second chance with you. There could have been a rejection. He could have rejected you or you could have rejected him. There was an ending. Now he could be with someone new and it could be his new partner or his new girlfriend or new boyfriend, depending if you're male or female. That's sending you the evil eye. Because she might know that he thinks about you. Now you could have the you could have a family. Someone has got a family. So I don't I don't see it as the male. That's sending Pearl to the evil eye. He's just thinking about you quite a lot over an ending. He could have betrayed you. There could have been a breakup. And he's thinking about wanting a second chance with you. Now there's an ex's new partner on the board as well. Like I said, whether that's male or female, they're sending you the evil eye. And you've got a female family member that's in her 20s. And there's someone who's wishing there was like you. Now I feel I'm being drawn to the ex's new partner or new girlfriend, new boyfriend, whatever. The ex's new partner, they wish there was like you. They wish they had your looks. They like what you wear. They could be trying to copy you. Um, with the female family member in her 20s as well, she's sending you the evil eye. Now let's have a look at why. Now why is this ex's new partner sending you the evil eye? They're envious of you because of your looks and what you wear. They want to be like you. They want you to have endings in your life. They want you to have terror moments. They want your world to be crumbling down, to crash down at your feet. They're judging you as well. Someone's judging you and I feel with the judgement card you're being judged by a female family member. Because she could be wishing she was like you. Because someone thinks, one of these female, this female or this ex's new partner, now that you've gone through some kind of ending, but I feel as if a female family member is backstabbing you. Now I'm also getting a message about this thinking man as well. Now he's not sending you the evil eye. He's thinking heavily about Paul too. He could be thinking of breaking up with the partner he's with now and putting an end to it because he could have been betrayed. Or he thinks he's betraying his new partner by thinking about you. You're up in his head a lot. Now these females are sending you the evil eye because of options you have in your life. And now you go through changes and endings but you deal with it. And with this female family member that's that wish she was, wishes she was like you. You don't, you don't settle for second best at all. But it's more envy than jealousy I'm getting. Could be jealous of how close you're on with your family as well. Because someone uses the power. 
for self for self reasons. Part two, you've gone through some kind of major change or a wake up call. But somebody's envious of your looks, the way you look and what you wear. Somebody is trying to copy part two. And this mouth would want a second chance with you. I know it's nothing to do with who's, who's sending you the evil eye, but that's just the message I'm getting. There's been a breakup, or there's going to be a breakup because of a betrayal. It could also be as well that this male or this female family member has stabbed you in the back in some way, left you confused. But I do feel the evil eye is being sent your way because of options you have in your life. And now you make drastic changes. You've had endings in your life. You don't settle for second best. You give everybody a second chance. You don't judge people. And I feel as if this is why they're sending, sending you the evil eye. Because you're a nice person. Envy. A lot of envy around pole two. So I hope that helped. And we'll move on to pole three. We have Queen. I don't know if you can see because the light's really crap. All tied up. The Moon Goddess. For the Tarot, we have Page of Swords, The Fool, Chariot, King of Wands. And six of six of wands. And then we have light skin tone, married, enemy, short, and then we have relationship and friendships. So pile three, who's sending you the evil eye and why? First off, I'm getting a female. This female could be married, short in height, with light skin tone, and with friendships being here, it's more of a frenemy. She pretends to be your friend. For others, it's somebody that you've had a relationship, a male that you've had a relationship with. It's somebody that with the male, it's someone that kept you trapped. You could have took a risk in a relationship. Could be a cancer for some. Doesn't have to be or Aries Leanne sad for another. Um no, it could be this male that's married. That's sending you the evil eye. He could have told you that he was single when he wasn't. He was married. Because the King of Wands is somebody that's normally married. But he acts as if he's single. But he's not. Um, you've definitely got an enemy sending Paul through the evil eye. It's someone who's tried to keep you trapped within a relationship. So I feel that like this is past. Somebody who was at this male could have been a risk taker. You're being spied on as well. Your social media is being watched. Information is being gathered on you. Now with this female, I feel as if um, she could do things regarding the moon. Because we have the queen and then the goddess of the moon. She could be trying to do spells on you to keep you trapped in life so you don't move forward. But I don't feel as if it's working. Um, it's also a female as well who's very arrogant. She could become arrogant when authority is challenged. She's very controlling. She likes to be in control and she's very demanding. 
and this I'm getting is a friend. She could have light skin, brown hair, or blonde hair. But I do feel that a female around you, that's an enemy as well. And this female is short in height. And this female could be doing try could be trying to do some kind of moon magic on you, but it's not working. Now the reason these people, this male and these females are sending you the evil eye is because of the attention you're getting, of your success. You're being recognised for something. You could be doing something to do with public, working with the public. There's jealousy around that. They're spying on you. They're keeping a close eye on you. It's also because of a new beginning that you've got in your life and you take risks, you take that leap of faith. You take action, you're moving forward. It's because you're moving forward in your life and somebody doesn't like that. They're sending you the evil eye because you're moving on. So if it is a relationship from the past and it's an ex with the king of wands and that, he's sending you the evil eye because you're not trapped now more. You're not all tied up in your head, overthinking. Because you're moving forward in your life, you're taking that leap of faith. And he's also seeing that you're successful at what you do. And he doesn't like, and the female doesn't like that you get attention. Public attention, public recognition. You're on your high horse and not in a nasty way. So for Paul 3 who's sending you the evil eye, he's an enemy, that's a female. We've got a male that he was in a relationship with. And there's a female friend. This person's married. Short in height, with a light skin tone, blonde hair, black hair, well brown hair, should I say, dark brown hair. Could be short for some, long for others. And they're sending you the evil eye because you take risks. You're successful in what you do. They're watching you on social media. They don't like the fact that you've moved forward. You've moved, you're moving away from them or you've moved away from them. You take action. You do get attention. And this is why they're sending you the evil eye. You're not trapped no more. You're not all tied up and overthinking and in your head worrying. You're free. You're a free spirit. Well, I feel as if a female, an enemy, a frenemy, shall I say, She's trying to work her moon magic, but it's not working because you're still taking risks. You're still a free spirit, you do what you want. And that's why they're sending you the evil eye. So I hope that helped. And thank you for watching.